the indian contract act 1872 article 23 23 what consideration and objects are lawful and what not dot the consideration or object of an agreement is lawful unless the consideration or object of an agreement is lawful unless it is forbidden by law or is of such a nature that if permitted it would defeat the provisions of any law or is fraudulent or involves or implies injury to the person or property of another or the court regards it as immoral or opposed to public policy in each of these cases the consideration or object of an agreement is said to be unlawful every agreement of which the object or consideration is unlawful is void illustrations a agrees to sell his house to be for 10000 rupees yeah b s promise to pay the sum of 10000 rupees is a consideration for a s promise to sell the house and a s promise to sell the house is a consideration for b s promise to pay the 10000 rupees these are lawful considerations a a agrees to sell his house to be for 10000 rupees yeah b s promise to pay the sum of 10000 rupees is a consideration for a s promise to sell the house and a s promise to sell the house is a consideration for b s promise to pay the 10000 rupees these are lawful considerations b a promises to pay b 1000 rupees at the end of 6 months if c who owes that sum to b fails to pay it b promises to grant time to c accordingly yeah the promise of each party is a consideration for the promise of the other party and they are lawful considerations b a promises to pay b 1000 rupees at the end of 6 months if c who owes that sum to b fails to pay it b promises to grant time to c accordingly yeah the promise of each party is a consideration for the promise of the other party and they are lawful considerations c a promises for a certain sum paid to him by b to make good to be the value of his ship if it is wrecked on a certain voyage yeah a's promise is a consideration for b's payment and b's payment is a consideration for a's promise and these are lawful considerations c a promises for a certain sum paid to him by b to make good to be the value of his ship if it is wrecked on a certain voyage yeah a's promise is a consideration for b's payment and b's payment is a consideration for a's promise and these are lawful considerations d a promises to maintain b's child and b promises to pay a 1000 rupees yearly for the purpose yeah the promise of each party is a consideration for the promise of the other party they are lawful considerations d a promises to maintain b's child and b promises to pay a 1000 rupees yearly for the purpose yeah the promise of each party is a consideration for the promise of the other party they are lawful considerations e a b and c enter into an agreement for the division among them of gains acquired or to be acquired by them by fraud the agreement is void as its object is unlawful e a b and c enter into an agreement for the division among them of gains acquired or to be acquired by them by fraud the agreement is void as its object is unlawful f a promises to obtain for b an employment in the public service and b promises to pay 1000 rupees to a the agreement is void as a consideration for it is unlawful f a promises to obtain for b an employment in the public service and b promises to pay 1000 rupees to a the agreement is void as a consideration for it is unlawful g a being agent for a landed proprietor agrees for money without the knowledge of his principal to obtain for b a lease of land belonging to his principal the agreement between a and b is void as it implies a fraud by concealment by a on his principal g a being agent for a landed proprietor agrees for money without the knowledge of his principal to obtain for b a lease of land belonging to his principal The agreement between A and B is void as it implies a fraud by concealment by A on his principal. H A promises B to drop a prosecution which he has instituted against B for robbery and B promises to restore the value of the things taken. 
the agreement is void as its object is unlawful H.A. promises B to drop a prosecution which he has instituted against B for robbery and B promises to restore the value of the things taken. The agreement is void as its object is unlawful. I.A.'s estate is sold for arrears of revenue under the provisions of an act of the legislature by which the defaulter is prohibited from purchasing the estate. B. Upon an understanding with A. becomes the purchaser and agrees to convey the A state to A upon receiving from him the price which B has paid. The agreement is void, as it renders the transaction, in effect, a purchase by the defaulter and would so defeat the object of the law. IA's A state is sold for arrears of revenue under the provisions of an act of the legislature, by which the defaulter is prohibited from purchasing the A state. B. Upon an understanding with A becomes the purchaser and agrees to convey the A state to A upon receiving from him the price which B has paid. The agreement is void as it renders the transaction, in effect, a purchase by the defaulter and would so defeat the object of the law. J. A., who is B. S. Mukta, promises to exercise his influence, as such, would be in favor of C, and C promises to pay 1000 rupees to A. The agreement is void, because it is immoral. J. A., who is B. S. Mukta, promises to exercise his influence, as such, would be in favor of C, and C promises to pay 1000 rupees to A. The agreement is void, because it is immoral. K. A. agrees to let her daughter to hire to be for concubinage. The agreement is void, because it is immoral though the letting may not be punishable under the Indian Penal Code 45 of 1860.